the time for minor skirmishes is over. We now prepare for war. The villain Longshanks is poised to cross the River Forth and threaten the town of Stirling with a force of men-at-arms, heavy cavalry and a multitude of archers. Our newly forged army marches southward to establish our own base and attack the English before they can ready their troops. The time has come to take the offensive. The English have a fort near the town of Stirling. If we can defeat the English here, they may think twice about an invasion of Scotland. To win, destroy the English tower to the west. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food and wood. You have found some sheep. Sheep are a good source of food. So send them back to your town centre and assign a villager to gather food from them. Keep making villagers at your town centre until you have ten. The more villagers you have, the faster your resources will come in. Scout cavalry are poor fighters, but they can see a great distance. You can use your scout cavalry to explore the rest of the map and find the English. You can specify a location for new units to gather by setting a gather point. For villagers, Kid. click the town centre and click the set gather point button. Use your villagers to build a mill near your forage bushes. The hill with the dead tree protects the only access to your town. It would be a good idea to build a watchtower on this hill once you advance to the feudal age. Now click the dock and build a fishing ship. Shh. 
Algra. To fish, click a fishing ship and right click on a leaping fish. The fishing ship will collect fish and automatically return them to the dock. Fishing ships are also useful for exploring. Build a barracks and five militia to defend your villagers and explore the map. Villagers can also build farms. Build four farms near your mill when your forage bushes are depleted. Each farm needs only one villager working on it.
here. Rabuja, 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 Bunich. Don't forget, keep exploring the map. The English are coming to attack. Kia, beat fear. Kid, ho, ho, forger, ho. Kia, bonnet, beat fear. Now that you have reached the feudal age, concentrate on making some soldiers to fight the enemy. You will need at least 12. Good. You defeated the English assault. If you have villagers in your town centre, ring the town bell again to send them back to work. Watchtower will fire on enemy units and help protect your town. Kia. Forgera. Kid. Rabuja.
beat fear. Boogie, beat fear, kid. Raw boogie, beat fear. Forger. Boogie, beat fear. Erla, Balgara. Ra Boogie, beat fear. Kid, Nianaga, Nianaga. Erla, beat fear. Kia. Ra boogie, beat fear. Kia. Ra boogie, nianaga. Kia. Rob Wigga. Nianaga. Air love. Bargara. Eat fear. Bonage.
You are close to the English base. Better not knock down this wall until you have an army of about 12 soldiers. Now you have a large enough force to attack the English base. Charge. Keep your villagers working just in case you suffer casualties and need to make more troops. Remember, you can upgrade your militia to men at arms at the barracks. You should always upgrade soldiers when you can afford it. An English outpost. You know what to do. Knock it down. Bid fear, Erla, Tau, Tau, Hargre. Good job. You have eliminated the English soldiers. Now, destroy that tower and our victory will be complete. Bid fear, Hargre, Erla, Bid fear. Tau, Bid fear, 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 Bit fear, bit fear, Hargre. To, Erlav. Kogo, Kid, To, Erlav, Hargre. To, bit fear, bit fear, 
Great job. You have destroyed the English camp. The Battle of Stirling is sure to end in victory for the Scots. Now that you know how to build up, advance through the ages and find and fight your enemies, you have all the basic skills you need to play a random map game, the most common type of game in Age of Empires 2. Stirling was our first great victory. Even as we held the coastline, word arrived that Stirling Bridge had been held by a force of Scots led by the mythical knight of whom so many have spoken. Now we know his name. Sir William Wallace, the bane of the English. Edward Longshanks names Wallace a traitor and a criminal. Sir William replies he cannot be a traitor for he never swore fealty to an English king. With Wallace leading our armies, the men fight with renewed vigour. Perhaps the tide of our misfortunes is about to turn.